Hello there, it's Susan. Today I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be trying to replicate my uh, popular um, chain pull that I've done. Let me make sure you see the whole thing. <laughs> I've done, I, I, I've done this uh, quite a while ago, maybe about a year ago. So I'm going to try and do this almost the same thing. I'm going to use a black base and I'm going to use copper. Whoops, where's my copper? I'm going to add copper through it just like I did with this one. I'm not going to do white um, flowers for my chain pull. I am going to use a couple of this little piggies. Um, one is an interference color and one is a very pale color. It's a sea, called sea glass. I'm going to use that. My base is going to be color to go and I'm going to water it down thinner because this needs to be a lot thinner than um, a bloom. So yeah, uh, and my paints. My paints that I'm uh, pulling with the chain. This is the chain that I'm going to be using. Um, I thin them down with water as well. So, uh, yeah, that's it really. I'm going to begin. I've got my canvas here. I'll show you in a minute and I'll bring the camera down. Okay, I'm back. And this is the chain I'm going to be using. I'm only going to do, pretty sure I'm only going to do three uh, flowers, three pulls. I might do. Um, little ones down in the bottom. I'm not sure yet. See how it looks. So this is the canvas board, like a cradle board. I'm using, I'm not using a canvas. Um, and I gessoed it. So I will begin by applying the base coat. Okay, I'm gonna apply my base coat with this. Actually, no. I'm going to apply it with my little comb because it's a perfect, it uh, applies it perfectly to your canvas when you're doing a string pull. You don't want too much paint on the canvas. You want it fairly, um, I wouldn't say thin, but less paint than you would if you're doing a bloom or some other kind of uh, technique because it, if you have it too, if you have too much paint on on board or the canvas it will just swallow up your colors so I haven't done one of these probably in about a year around there so <laughs> I hope I can do it like I used to I hope I don't screw it up And black seems to swallow up colors quite easily, so I have, you have to be careful, especially with black. I'm just lightly going over it. need a little bit more in some spots. Just have to be very careful. I'm going to try and do the sides too before I begin. So I'll probably fast forward this part for you. The 
think I might have to add a little bit more on, but what I'm going to do right now before I forget is add my paint to here so that I can lay my chain in it like this. All right, that's parts done. So I'm going to add drizzle a little bit more on here. All right. I have a cup of water beside me to put the chain in once I once I um, finish. Oh, it's all blending together. Well, that doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, I better hurry. So I'm going to put some copper on, but I'm also, I forgot to mention that when I described what I was going to do, I'm also going to put some glisten on and spread it around just a little bit. So let's just get a little bit of this on. Different areas. I might have made this too thin. <laughs> it's okay. We'll see. Oh, we got a hair. And then I'm going to add a little bit of glisten. And I hope this is good. Whoops. Oh, look at how cool it's looking. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but wow. All right, so. Slightly different than I did before. All right. It's okay. All right, so now I'm going to lay my chain in the, in the paint. It's starting to all drain this way. Maybe what I should do is just kind of mingle it together, mix it together. That'll be good. Put the chain in here like this. Gonna loop it around and put it back in. I don't need the end done. So just going to make sure it's all make contact with the chain. Oops. Blending it as I go, too. This could be... a disaster. All right. And usually the chain holds a lot of paint, but I think I've got it quite thin. So, I'm going to give it a try. Yeah. 
and then slowly pull it towards you. And I have a bucket of water that I just threw it in. I might have added too much copper on there, but uh, what can I do now? Not much. All right, so I'm going to lay my other one down. Yeah, I don't have to. Usually I run my finger along the chain after I put it in paint. But this is thin enough. It's it's not it's looking actually perfect. So, I don't need to. Just wait a couple of minutes, not a couple of minutes, just wait a few seconds just to make sure that the paint is going on the canvas and then pull it slowly towards you. One more. I think it's looking pretty cool so far. <clears throat> All right. Okay, which way should I go? All right, <clears throat> let it sit for a couple of seconds. And then pull. Now. Now, now, now. Should I leave it? Or should I add a couple more little ones down here? Hmm. I might. Yeah, I think I'm going to just get a couple more small chains. I have little ones like these that I can just maybe, whoops, just to fill up the bottom, maybe these two spots right here.
And then another little one there. Can't wait to see what this looks like when it's dry because of the interference in the um, piggies. And how shiny it's going to be. All right. Yeah, that just filled up the bottom a little bit. Getting a few little uh, air, not air bubbles, but uh, cells. Just a couple of little ones. I didn't really want it to have any cells, but that's okay. I'll just leave it. All right, so. Whoops, there is the original. Very similar, but a different color. So, I will bring the camera down for a close-up. And, I don't know whether my camera's out of focus or, there. Cool. Okay, I will let it dry and show you at the end of the video.